what's going on YouTube welcome back to moose mobile auto repair in my last video I showed you on how to do a compression test on an engine using the manual gauge today I'm going to show you how to do a relative compression test using a special scan tool that I have here. This one is called the uh, uh, car scope uh, uh, eye tester. Yeah, this one. So we are going to hook this up th through the OBD port and then uh, we will disable the, uh, the, the fuel pump and uh, we will run our test uh, from there the vehicle i'm using today is the 2009 pontiac vibe and it has the 2.4 liter engine in it the obd port is located here we'll uh, plug this in You're gonna uh, 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 hook this up. So now uh, we are going to disable the uh, the EFI main fuse here. We are going to disable the fuel system. So we are gonna take out the twenty amp EFI main fuse. The car is running right now. I want to make sure there's no more fuel going to it. Now you can see the the uh, the, the engine j just died right now. Okay, so. Uh We're just going to do a, a compression test here. So we we'll go to compression, enter. Then if you want to use voltage or current, use voltage. I think input uh, 15. It's a four cylinder engine. And we we'll go to start. Say, please start cranking. Pull back. You said uh, 88%, 91%, 89%, and 100%. And you, you can save the screenshot to, to file. There's a, uh, there's the, uh, a micro SD card here. So uh, y you can save the file for uh, reference purposes if you want to print it out or, sh or show the customer I'm gonna go back because uh, I wasn't holding down the gas pedal all the way so we're gonna try it again so you have to make sure that you have the throttle uh, wide open throttle as you're cranking the engine over uh, is the proper way to do this so uh, I'm going to start now.
So now it's different. This is more accurate. 95%, 93, 92, and 100. In the previous test, I forgot to hold down the accelerator pedal. So you got to make sure that you do that so the engine can take in as much air as possible. So I'm going to save the file. It's saving now. Okay. And that's all there is to it. You have other functions here, but I'm, I'm not going to uh, uh, cover them in, in this video. Yeah, so uh, the uh, results show that the engine is okay on this one. Uh, there's no problems. It's, uh, it's relatively uh, in good shape. This tool is very good if uh, if you just want to do a, a quick test and you want to, want to figure out on what's going on in your uh, diagnosis. This is uh, very useful if you have an engine like a V6 engine or a V8 or it's, it's very difficult to get access to the spark plugs. You can't hook up a manual uh, compression gauge on it so this one is going to save you uh, a lot of time and uh, it will quickly let you know that uh, if there's a problem it will save you a, a lot of time in your diagnostic process this tool is uh, is going to save you a lot of time for you and the customer I didn't use any of the inputs on this, so uh, they were not synced. You have to ho hook up one of the input tools so that the scan tool knows uh, w w which s cylinders is which. So the, I think that one of them has like a, an, an inductive uh, a pickup for older cars, uh, the ones that have the spark plug wires on them. And uh, there were a couple others, I think, but um, I haven't used this tool much, really. I've only used it a few times, and uh, I just got it uh, last year, so I, ha I haven't had the opportunity to uh, to get into the details of this tool. But I'm just showing you on 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 what what capabilities uh, uh, it has. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.